Close on the delayed 2020 high school football season on this championship Saturday. Salem among our four local teams battling for state gold on the road at Lake Taylor. We'll start on the defensive side. This pass here from the Titans is going to be tip picked by Jordan McDonald to save the touchdown. Spartans were down 6-0 at halftime and they made some adjustments. Check out Xavion Wood on the 56-yard scamper, giving his team a 7-6 lead. Later, after a Titans touchdown, Salem goes to the air. Deron Wilson hits Chauncey Logan 67 yards to the house. 14-12 advantage. Fourth quarter, Spartans finish strong behind Xavion Wood. Yet again, another 36-yard score here. Salem takes it 28-20 for their 10th state title in pro Program history, the first for head coach Don Holter. These kids work hard and they love one another. They love the game. And, uh, you know, there's no quit. There's no flinch in them. And when it's time to get after it, you know, they focus. They have great discipline. They execute their game plan in all three phases. And they do it with great passion and physicality. That's why it works. Lord Botetot has been tough as nails, knocking on the door of a state title for the past few seasons in prime position yet again as they battled with Lafayette. Botetot fans made the trip out to Williamsburg today. Coach Harless looking for the school's first state title. Second quarter, we're scoreless. Dylan Wade, a nice little scramble here, taking this one all the way inside the 10-yard line. Botetot within striking distance, and who do you go to? Mr. Hunter Rice puts the Cavs up 7-0. Third quarter, it's 7-3 when Luke Hansen goes 28 yards through the air. A bomb to Mike Green hauls it in and the Rams have a 10-7 lead but LB not done yet. Sammy Peary hands off to Wade for the score. Cavs back on top but the fourth quarter Lafayette strikes again. LB held scoreless in the second half. They fall 27-13 and take the runner-up trophy for the second straight season. That After two years of this that they'll be motivated to actually get it. I just kind of hope that they can all step up and take the chance and be all leaders. The coach Harless, it, it's not the he built this program from nothing. And he dealt with too much stuff, and for him to be coaching us like how he does, it's unbelievable. And he deserves everything. Appomattox County has been playing inspired football with his head coach Doug Smith out as he battles cancer, but with the power of one, the Raiders always step up in the big moments, even today as they battle Stewart's draft. The Raiders looking for a fifth state title in the last six seasons. They opened quickly. Check out Jonathan Penix on the quick hitter. 60-yard scamper to daylight. Come on home. 7-0 lead. More Raiders. Trey Lawing. Quick pass to Tez Booker coming up here. He's going to Take the catch and run. Converts 21-7. Lead in the second quarter. Stewart's draft. They got a wing T offense and they got cranked up. Fan advanced the pass to Joel Howard over the middle. 21-16 at halftime. Second half run of the season for Trey Long. And check out the quarterback. The keep, the sweep. He's going to shed his tacklers here. At least four of them on the way to an 80-yard touchdown. Appomattox led 35-23. Stewart's draft pulled within three, but the Raiders get the 48-41 win. Another Class 2 state title for a determined bunch of Raiders. Teenagers, some of the kids, they're going to get their head down when they make a mistake and somebody says something about it. Um, they got to just take a deep breath, step back, come back and fix their mistakes and know that if they're living to fight another play, we got a chance. Every week is a championship. Every week is a championship. We prepare like every week is a championship. We know every team that we play, they're going to give it their all against us. They want to beat us, so you got to prepare for a battle every game. In Class 1, Riverheads has been the king of the hill, winners of four straight titles, but their last loss in 2015 came to their opponent today, the Galax Maroon Tide. Galax trying to rain on the Gladiators Parade after both teams trade field goals. Check out Bennett Dunlap going over the top to Landon Leitner. He is out like a light. Yes, like a light for the first touchdown of the game. 10-3 lead. Galax responds through the air as well. Check out Cole Pickett hit Santana Sawyers in stride. The 49-yard touchdown. PAT blocked, so it's 10 to 9. Riverheads would return the ensuing kickoff for touchdown. Then they did this on the next drive. Cole Burton, 28 yards around the left edge. 23-9, Gladiators lead. They scored 34 points in the quarter and were up 44-15 at halftime. Galax never gave up. Pickett hit Keaton Beeman twice in the second half, but not enough firepower. They fall 65-29 to to Riverheads. Had a good game plan against us and, 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 and did a good job. And, you know, our kids fought. And, you know, I told them, you know, this game does not define them. This does not define this team. This game does not define our program. This game does not define our community. All right? the, our kids come back and fought. And, you know, that's all you can ask for.
This is Galax's second consecutive runner-up bid, while the win for Riverheads is their fifth straight state title of VHSL record. 